One of the most important systems on your buggy is probably one you're not thinking about too often, and that's the brake system. I mean, when was the last time you checked wear on your pads, <laughs> right? You can't even remember. So if you can't remember when you did that, I would bet my lunch today that you've never looked at the brake fluid either. If you're the type of rider that never uses their brakes and relies only on engine braking to do the majority of your slowing down, you still need to be thinking about your brake system because when you really need to stop in a hurry, you need the brakes to do it. The way I ride, I use the brakes a lot. I mean, I'll use the brakes to settle the nose down if I'm going over a trail riser. It helps get that headlight pointed back down to the ground. I'll also stab the brakes from time to time just to feel what the trail is like so I know what traction I've got. And then going into a corner fast, like really hustling in, I'll brake hard, threshold brake into the corner and then slowly release the brake to trail brake through the initial part of the corner. What that does is get the front end down and help it settle and then I can transition to oversteer so I can get on the gas quicker to get out of the corner. I mean, I'm on the brakes all the time. All this can put a ton of heat into the disc and pad. Now this stuff will actually get so hot, the rotor will glow orange. And with studs in the track, you can work the brakes even harder. This time and heat not only wears out pads, but it can also take its toll on the fluid, resulting in a spongy feel on the brake lever and an ever-increasing chance of fade when the heat starts to build. On this old Polaris, well, the pad's still look in pretty good shape and so does the rotor, so I'll probably just go ahead and scuff these up with some sandpaper before I put them back in for the final time. But the brake fluid, I've got no idea about that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change it. You do have to watch dot compatibility, so check your reservoir for a spec and stick to that. There are basically two types of fluid and the system is designed specifically for each and should not be mixed. If you need advice, the specialists at your local parts store can help, and if you can, option up to a fluid with a higher boiling point. To bleed the brakes, I'm using a small piece of clear line running into an empty water bottle to collect the old fluid. The tube will not only keep the mess to a minimum, but will also show any air bubbles trapped in the system and you should also be able to see when the new fluid starts to come through. Okay, there's a couple of tricks to this and number one, be really careful when you crack this bleeder loose because these things, they can break off really easy. Another one, never let the reservoir up on the handlebar run out of fluid because if you do, it lets air in, but you have to bleed all the way out through the system. To push the fluid through, squeeze the brake lever to put a bit of pressure in the system. Then open the bleeder to let that fluid out of the system. Then close the bleeder again before you release the brake lever. Keep repeating this until you see new fluid start to come through the line. It should start to look cleaner than the old nasty stuff. Some people believe that the brakes, they just slow them down. But I believe that a properly functioning brake system, one that you can trust, will actually make you faster. That feels better. Perfect.